Oh my god, I've got such a wedgie, it's not even funny. Um, hello everyone. Hi everyone. It's a privilege to be here with you all um, in the penultimate full day of Big Brother Secrets and Lies. Um, we're just saying that we are having an absolute scream in BB13 and Jack and I aren't going to harp on too much about why we think we deserve to win because you're all just as deserving to be sitting on this um, table with us. Uh, we are just having a laugh. We hope you're having as much of a laugh as we are. And yeah, we have ups and downs, but I think as a collective of five people, we have got on extremely well with the ups and downs. It's a roller coaster. Um, Jack and I feel that we give 100% in tasks, and hopefully the public can, the viewing public can see that just as much as Jack and I feel sometimes. He had his head shaved off, and he would leave with his head shaved off, um, and we ended up putting our face in cold curry. Um, we always try and be upbeat, and although we do have down days, oh, I had a down week, we do try our hardest. <laughs> we do try our hardest to be upbeat, and we are always there if you ever need to have a hug, if you need a chat, or if you just need to see my Jack and I's genuinely beautiful faces. And um, we've learned to be independent. Mum will be proud to know we're now domesticated gods in cooking, cleaning and making our own beds. Um, Thank you. There are several reasons, like, we're not going to lie, where we'd love to win. First of all, like, the money. It's a life-changing amount of money, like, knowing and I, 100 grand is a lot of money. Yeah. Especially, like, for us, as we're, like, only, like, 19, it'll just set us up for life sort of thing, like, we could do so much with the money. Um, it sounds, like, really cliche, but Mum's always wanted to go to New York, but she could never afford it because she's got five kids and a grandchild. So, like, we said we'd take her to New York and then we'd give some money to Mum, Dad, Helly, Katie, Grace and Maisie, just to set them up for a little bit and then um, not just that but we're just like two normal boys from Cheshunt who work in Sainsbury's for a laugh and then just coming here and getting to the final so to conclude overall we're just having an absolute laugh like it's the best thing we've ever done we can't believe that there's only like two days left and that we're here for it um, thanks everyone at home for like keeping us in this far it means a lot for us to get this far and, and um, twins, twins for the win, win. Jack and Joe, if you were to get the title and win the hundred thousand um, pounds, obviously it's you know not just saying because of your age, but um, do you think that you would be responsible with with the money and not just you know squander it and? Yeah, I don't mean. Um, we have like we've not good, like we thought about it at home like we didn't think we'd make it to the final, but you've always got to have sort of a plan in mind what you do with it. Um, we said that obviously we'd take mum to New York. We said we'd give some money to our family, like two grand each or something like that, so four grand overall. But um, not just that, we said we'd put some money down, like a deposit on a flat, and then we'd rent it out because we're too young to move away from home yet because I don't even know how to work a washing machine. But we'd just um, like rent it out so we've got like some stable roots, we've got a bit of foundation. And then when that but is a paid hundred, off... £100,000 pound is a lot of money if it still exists. But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> we're not sure, but if it does still exist, then... Yeah, we would be responsible with it because it, it's a privilege that you don't get every day in your life. You only get it once like and you have to make sure that, that lasts. Like, although we are young, we are quite level-headed, we think. In your heart of hearts, yeah. do you feel that you deserve to win more than anybody else on the table? No. In I, my heart of hearts, no. I didn't expect to get further than my birthday. The 23rd, the 20th of July. So to get further than my birthday is beyond my wildest dreams. So to be doing this now is beyond my wildest dreams. What I said on the cue card that everyone deserves to be here, I do believe. Uh, for believe example, if Sam, you in this far, then you deserve you, to be here. For example, it's public show, and if the I public want you here, you're here. Sam True. is inspirational to people, hard of hearing. Charlie, because she's been on her journey, and admittedly she's had ups and downs, but she's got here. You, because the public just seemed to love you, even though the house at times didn't, because you made everyone cry. Um, <laughs> and Gina, just because you're Gina, you've come in and you had a precon people have preconceptions about you, and you've just knocked them over. And so for me to say, oh, I think I can win, would be a very silly accusation Everyone in this make. room deserves to be in this room, in this clearly. Room. Don't get me wrong, I still do think Sophie deserves to be in this room, but... Evidently, she's but not I would here. But I would never kick anyone out of here for Sophie because Sophie did it's deserve it. But it's a public show. It's so. a public show, and they decide. But you've all you've all done fantastically well. We've fantastic, well. fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> you could be Nancy, Andrew Lloyd, whoever said that. <laughs>